What are the people around me doing that I'm not doing? I'm an architect, graphic designer, and also a photographer. What experiences have they had that I haven't? Kindama is kids' toy, and actually it's got more than 100 years of history. What can I learn from people who are different from me? People in Tokyo know me as Luvu the food guy. I'm here speaking with David Elliott Jones, filmmaker, producer. He's in town in Tokyo for his documentary, Big in Japan. I'm here talking with Saya Suitsugu. She is the president of TIP, Tokyo International Players. With non-native creative, I wanted to talk to people who are working creatively in countries outside their home countries, or who are working creatively using a language that's not their mother tongue. I studied the DJ to some because I was used to living in London before. What we all have in common is the passion for theatre. What makes it so special is that everyone who is involved has a different background. I wanted to talk to them about what they find difficult about their work. There is this lady, she actually called the police. Oh my god, there are so many foreigners playing in nunchuck in front of the living. India is uh, like a polar opposite of uh, Japan in terms of bureaucracy. Even when I go back to Vietnam, you know, they speak Japanese to me. <laughs> I also wanted to talk to them about what excites them about what they do. I didn't do photography in Czech Republic. It feels so strange to, to be inside of a city that you don't just know, you know, that you don't know how the streets look like and how, how the places look like. And a different face, different skins, whatever, different languages, different region, whatever, whether we like the same music, you know, then it's sharing is really exciting. You know? The radio platform called Smoky FM. Of course, you know, I want to share the philosophy ideas, but you know, basically music is for us all the time. I hope that these stories can inspire other people the way these people inspired me. And maybe they can be a step towards working to understand people who have backgrounds different from our own. You get to know so many different people through the piece of wood, you know. You actually do have a huge group of people who are supporting you. We gotta think differently. Or else we just become a part of the noise. Maybe through sharing our creativity and passions, we can learn to connect with each other just a little better.